The purpose of our study was to determine whether or not um, youth have, we, we tried to answer two questions. First question was, how many overweight youth are living without any metabolic risk factors that would be related to heart disease or diabetes? The second question was, if there are youth that don't have any metabolic risk factors, what are the best predictors of them not having a metabolic risk? Well, we had enrolled a number of youth into one of our exercise training studies. That study was looking at high intensity exercise uh, for the reduction in the risk for these complications. So what we did is we took a look at, before they even started exercising, how many of them had it, and then what were the best predictors. So we brought in 120 youth, we screened them for cardiovascular disease risk factors, we measured their fitness levels between those who had risk factors and those that didn't. So we know that obesity is a constantly growing problem, and obesity is associated with different kind of uh, metabolic risk factors, such as uh, diabetes, um, dyslipidemia, blood pressure, um, liver fat, so ectopic fat, so fat that actually accumulate in, uh, in the liver, for example. Uh, but there's still a certain amount of uh, overweight youth um, or obese youth that actually doesn't present any single of those cardiometabolic risk factors. So what we found is actually that this phenotype is more characterized by a lower um, uh, lipid in the liver, but also by a um, lower high deposity level. So, so yeah, basically adiposity is more um, like a predictor and also hepatic triglyceride or uh, fat accumulation in the liver characterize more those uh, individuals. So what we found was very interesting, about one third of overweight youth don't have any risk factors for heart disease, so they have normal blood pressure, normal cholesterol, normal uh, fat in their liver. We also found that their body weight was the best predictor. So kids who were carrying a little extra body weight, they were more likely to have high levels of cholesterol and, and blood pressure. And that fitness actually wasn't there, wasn't a predictor. Some people suggest that you can be um, fit and fat, so carry a little extra weight but be fit, and that's uh, going to protect you long term. Our data didn't suggest that in kids. What we did find though was that if there was a little bit of fat in their liver, that was also a big predictor. So the two messages to parents would be, and clinicians, one, a lot of youth actually don't have risk factors for heart disease and diabetes. Those that don't tend to have less fat in their liver and they also have lower body weights. So our goal then would be to prevent fatty liver disease and to make sure that body weights stay low. So this is important because it gives us a better understanding of what factors predict the development of risk factors that are related to obesity and it will give us some targets to use for future interventions so that we can prevent them from happening.